Ammo Knights, the perfect locale for weapons like this. Or like this, dare I say, even weapons like this. Here is way too many ways to get banned from Ammo Knights. Exciting as it may seem, no, you are not allowed to make your own ramen in your own sloshing machine. The longer you look at that, the more likely you're gonna do it, so just stop. Trying to sell individual octobrush fibers as toothpicks might seem smart at first, but it will start to feel a lot less good when you realize that your octobrush suddenly isn't painting that well anymore. Could only wonder how that happened. You think you can shove this nerd in your locker? This guy's gonna shove you out of his shop. One time, I heard a rumor of an individual who took two of these unused tri-stringers and tried to turn them into stilts? Can you almost imagine it with the 96 gal in my hands? Imagine if I could stand up on this. I could be like almost at level with my opponents. Trying to sneak into a concert venue and replacing one of the crowd members light sticks with a bamboozler is probably one of the most heinous things I've heard about all week. Please don't do that. If you already own all of the weapons in Sheldon shop, please don't take extras for spare parts. Just ask. I, I can't believe I have to say this, but no, you cannot take one of the spare barrels that we have for heavy splatling customers and use it as a brand new drink jug. We know you're not gonna bring it back like ever. Storing food items inside the sheath of the decapitator is not covered by any warranty. You're doing that at your own risk. I, I hope you know that. Delicious as this might look, I know, I know, even if you look close at it, it almost looks like a cheese spread. Please do not use these in the kitchen. These are tools for the outside world, not your kitchen counter. Just because there happen to be curling bombs up at the top of the store doesn't mean that you can request one just so you can use it as a frisbee. I throw the curling bomb. Oh look, it fell down. What's that? You wanna borrow some of the straws and a big swig roller just for fun? Well, the last time we let someone do that, there were straws shoved into every bottle and every can on the street. Like, is that even littering? Surprisingly, more Inklings would believe you than you'd think if you told them that they could actually slow their fall down with just a little help from Umbrella. Please. Please, please don't listen to these people. A few Inklings have been purchasing way more food than they'd ever need by shoving a bunch of it into an Explosher. The only problem is with how hard it is to see inside of an Explosher, who's to say you aren't accidentally taking more than just ink onto the battlefield. So apparently there's a brand new trend out there, which we do not approve of at all, where individuals will go around walking up to various tactic coolers and just poking holes in all of the cans so no one can drink the drinks. I, I, I don't know about that one. I don't recommend that. Trying to steal the copy machine so you can use your favorite weapons all the time whenever you want without having to leave the comfort of your own home is a noble pursuit, but also one that will get you banned. Look at the shell of that Nautilus. Well, in a stunning show of disrespect for the Nautilus, a few too many players have gotten inspired by those recent drummers and have started using the Nautilus as symbols. Symbols! Sim! Two individuals asked Sheldon back and forth to start and stop and start and stop and start and stop to the point where he had to go home for the day because he was so exhausted. Oh no, not this again! Just the other day, 45 Inklings came together to make the world's longest splat bomb domino chain. First of all, why? Second of all, what did you think was gonna happen when you started to make all the splat bombs touch each other? Yeah, exactly. Down this entire street, you just hear a ba-boom, 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 and it was at like 3 a.m. Do you notice how this Tri-Slosher and this Tri-Slosher Nouveau are only able to be told apart by like a sticker? and some color, please keep it that way. If I ever see a forge bucket, I'm gonna have words. On the sides of their Splattershot Junior to become more aerodynamic than ever, come on. Come on, you already move around 
so quickly. Do you really need the extra 5%? Yes? Yesterday, I heard about a brand new type of theft I'd never seen before. An octoling tried to accidentally uh, take a sticker with them. Where as they were walking by, like right past these stickers right here, their e-leader accidentally scraped against one of the stickers and went along with them? Yeah, okay, like the city also accidentally installed a camera over there to catch you. What do you mean? You filled your tri-slosher with jello and it doesn't work anymore after you ate it? I know you really, really, really want to spare, but no matter how many times you ask Sheldon, he will not be able to give you one. I'm sure he respects your dedication, but if you ask him more than 50 times after he says no, he has no choice but to kick you out just for a little while. To try and evade detection, some cephalopods have opted to use specifically burst bombs to get things out of the way that they don't care about. Like this truck over here that hasn't seen any use in a couple of years. If they want to move it, you can't move it with a splat bomb. It's too loud. It probably will break everything. But a burst bomb, maybe? Using a tent umbrella to block the entire entrance to the lobby, even if just for a little bit, is a big no-no. I get it, I get it, I get it. You want to go in first. All right, then just walk on in there, see? Someone try to take an extra nozzle nose hose. Try saying that three times fast. Just to create the ultimate H6 nozzle nose, which was essentially just a, a bigger nozzle nose, the, the same barrel, but twice the hose. It didn't shoot any further. I, I think they thought they'd like get like double the blast, but like, you know, it's okay. You see how fun and silly and enjoyable it is to flip around with this big old splatling? This mini splatling even. They're taking that mini splatling's handle and spinning around and around and around and around, and then eventually they can't hold on anymore, so they go flying into random innocent civilians. Come on, why would you, what, what, what's the, what do you think's gonna happen? Repainting weapons to match your color palette preferences is strictly prohibited. Some individuals have decided their next new petty crime is just to run around with scissors and poke holes in random undercover umbrellas. Please be careful out there. Have you ever seen someone sharpen an e-leader's nozzle to a point? Well, that's how it happens. That's how stuff like that umbrella popping happens. Be careful. Look at this thing. Does it deserve it? Probably not. There's been an awful rumor running around that some individuals are using spare Rapid Blaster Pro decos as, come again, baseball bats? You guys know that Splatfest was like five years ago, right? Besides, wouldn't you like rather use a Snipe Rider? That's like a much better bat, but I'm, I'm not you guys, so you know, whatever. Some models of Splatter Scope are actually being returned, but without the scope. It's not a hard product to replace. There are many of them at Ammonites, but if you want to look at the stars that badly, please just consider getting a telescope. Well, with my job done here, Sheldon probably isn't very happy with you. M m maybe, m maybe the disappointment is so loud that you behave for the rest of your life and cause no more problems with weapons? No, no, it was never gonna be that easy. Uh. Okay, s s see, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.